Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the parish of Mary, Mother of the Church. Please silence all cell phones in reverence to the sacred presence of Christ. Today is the sixth Sunday of Easter. The Mass intention is being offered for the repose of the soul of Anne-Marie Keating. Our entrance chant is hymn number 558, Glory and Praise to Our God. Would you rise, please? Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. My friends, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us pause and acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your Oh. 
Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance, we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, unit to Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing, for unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed with them that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what he has done for me. Blessed be God who refused me not, my prayer or his kindness. Let all the
A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God, put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept, because it neither knows, it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father and you are in me and I am in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, as in Father's Day as well, I always like to reflect on, as in this weekend, motherhood, and on Father's Day weekend, the same. And it's always difficult this weekend for, for mothers that wish they could be mothers and can't, and also those who love their mothers who have passed away. So my sincerest condolences and my promise prayers for both of those situations, my friends. There's an interesting evolution of little kids growing up and what they think of their mother. And I'll read those at different ages as they progress through life. And you may relate to some of these. At four years old, my mommy can do anything. Eight years old, my mom knows a whole lot. 14 years old, Naturally, mom doesn't know that. 16 years old, my mom is way too old-fashioned. 
25? Well, my mom might know a little bit. 35? Before we decide, we better ask mom. 45? I wonder what mom would have thought about that. 65? I wish I could talk it over with mom. Such a true analogy, isn't it, my friends, of regression, you know? Some of you are probably in one of those age groups, aren't you? But, you know, it's important to talk about motherhood. Why? Why? Because, my friends, you know, many of you are moms or grandparents, grandmoms. You have an impact on your family. And we need to be aware of that. We need to be aware of it because, you know, in family life, mom and dad really, truly impact their children. And they may never know it, but they do. But they do. There was a young boy working in a factory with his dad at 10 years old. This was in Italy. And his mom knew he had a good voice, and so she hired a voice lessons. After the first lesson, the teacher refused to say anymore and say, you know, your son doesn't really have a good voice. His voice sounds like a wind in the shutters. He said, I'm not coming back anymore. And so she took on another job just so her son could have voice lessons. She passed away at a very young age as a mother. And before he ever performed, he always, years and years and years for the entire rest of his life, would take out a picture of his mom and stare at it for a moment right before he walked on stage. His name is Enrico Caruso. And I know it's a very subjective thing, but many say that he is probably one of the greatest voices ever. And he says he owes everything to the encouragement of his mom. The encouragement for mom does what, my friends? It brings out the best in their children like nothing else can do. The encouragement for mom brings out the best in their children like no one else can do. On August 16th, 1987, Northwest Airlines crashed just after taking off from the Detroit airport killing all 155 that were on board. When the, when the people, the, the people that, that were trying to rescue them, they found a four-year-old girl. And because the plane took off and then landed on a highway, they thought this child somehow was attached to one of the vehicles that was crashed because it was perfectly safe. And then they realized what happened. As the plane was going down, mom unbuckled her sleep belt, knelt in front of the chair of the seat, and wrapped her arms around her little child. She, of course, lost her life, but her daughter survived. How many, many sacrifices a mom makes in her family, my friends? How many? Many, many go unnoticed. But again, those sacrifices have tremendous impact on family life. Because moms sacrifice a lot. A lot. Ira Sankey, he led the music for Moody's Gospel Revivals. Moody's Gospel Revivals, they're pre-Billy Graham, so that's the era. He, he he was just as popular as Billy Graham in that same era. So Ira Sankey did all the music for that. And one, after a performance one night, somebody came up to him and they said, Mr. Sankey, did you ever serve in the Union Army? He said, I did. He said, I did. He said, can you remember doing at a picket duty in, 19, in 1862? He said, I do remember that. He said, it was the worst duty I had when I was in the the army. He said, I have to do, stay up all night at this, at this duty. And he said, you know, to keep awake, I would sing gospel music all night long. 
to keep myself awake. And the man said to him, he said, you know, I was in the Confederate Army. And I was told to take control of that post. And so I got close. He said, you never knew I was there, but I was a little farther away in these bushes. And the sun was, or the moon was brightly shining on you. And I raised my gun and I heard you sing these words, Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. I lowered my gun, and those were the same words that my mom used to sing to me when I was a little child. He said, I never raised my gun again in the army. He said, I finished my duty, and he said, I returned to my faith that my mom raised me. But he looked at Iron Sacred in the eyes, and he said, Mr. Sankey, you are alive today because of the faith of my mother. Amazing, isn't it? You are alive today because of my mother's faith. Abraham Lincoln says, I remember my mother's prayers and they have always followed me. They have clung to me my entire life. I remember my mother's prayers and they have always followed me. They have clung to me my entire life. The power of a mother's prayers. Often you think they're not heard, my friends. Keep praying. Keep praying. Look at St. Monica. She prayed for years and years and years. She came up with one of the greatest saints in the church. The Irish say, a man loves his sweetheart the most, his wife the best, but his mother the longest. But his mother the longest. Happy Mother's Day to you mothers. God bless you. Let us now stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life a world to come. Counting on the boundless mercy of our Heavenly Father, we now offer these prayers and petitions. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church will stand before the world without stain or blemish, holy and obedient to God's word. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for all civil leaders, that they govern according to the true good of the human person and promote a culture of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all mothers, that through the intercession of the Mother of God, the Lord will bless them and reward them for their sacrifices and love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will strengthen and preserve our faith in his holy service. Strengthen, strengthen.